What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So this was made over the weekend. This is a script to install Affinity uh, Designer, Publisher, Photo on Linux without needing to compile Wine because it didn't need any coding to begin with. Somebody already did the work for you. But the point is that this is just making it really, really easy for you to get things done. Now, as you can see, there's a, a, a bash script here for each version. We're going to be choosing photo today. And what's going to happen is we're going to paste this in the, the terminal and it's going to download it and run it for you. So if you need support for this, they do have their own discord. It's right here. And I did test this over the weekend. It does work. So hopefully it will end up working today. We're on Pika OS 4. Now I'm going to plug in my USB drive because that's where I store my uh, setup for uh, Affinity Photo and uh, we're going to jump right into this. So we're going to just paste this in the terminal and it's basically going to download it using curl and run it. Here we go. So all dependencies are currently installed. If you were missing any, it would automatically install them and you'd be good to go on that front. And now it's downloading and extracting the elemental version of wine which is really nice so again saves you uh 20 minutes of compile time maybe less depending on your cpu and it's going to put everything where it needs to be and as you can see it just jumped up and started wine tricks which is nice so this part's gonna take a while and it's going to grab .NET 48, it's going to grab uh, core fonts, and it's going to switch everything over to Vulkan so that it can render properly and work properly. It's going to set .desktop files for you so you can pin them to your dock or whatever you use. And it doesn't matter which DE you use because it will work no matter what, which is nice. And uh, yeah, I'll jump in here near the end because this will just do everything for you minus the installing you know affinity photo or designer or publisher okay so this part is where you end up dragging the affinity photo.exe uh into this location right here which is what we want and then you press any key when ready and i'm going to do that real quick you don't need to see it happen you know where it's going to go and what's going to happen with it okay so I'm going to copy it. I just did that. Take my word on it. We're going to paste it in here. Great. I'm going to hit enter. Uh huh. Okay. There we go. It's starting up. And. Yes. I want to continue. Good. So this is my own setup. What this does is it just automatically installs everything without really causing much of a fuss or any issues. Yeah, it makes things really easy and lightweight. And that way, I'm able to get the job done a lot quicker. And again, we're on Pico OS, which means we're on Debian. And this did work on Nabora. This did work on Kashi, Arch, Fedora 40, 41... And he has his special thanks down there, as you can see. And what it does next is it automatically creates a dot desktop. And that dot desktop allows you to, uh, well, have it in here somewhere. Did it mess up again? Please tell me it didn't. Show your face. No, it instantly put it on my desktop. Look at that. So... I'm not used to it automatically being pinned, but I'm kind of happy it is. I don't know how he did that, but that's so cool. And as you can see, it's just going to automatically start up now, which is really cool. And we're done. That's it. It's finished. It works. So that's kind of impressive. I like that. Let's install Affinity Designer next because I use all of them. And to do this, we're going to close this tab down just like that. And why is that so small? Can it not be that small? I don't normally have it that small. So I'm going to go back to that GitHub. Just one second. Uh, for some reason, I closed it. 
recently closed. Yeah, well, the easiest way to technically go grab it is in my Discord. I will leave it in the description, of course, uh, because it's important. But yeah, there we go. We're back here. And we're going to do designer next. And then we're going to do publisher because I want to have them all there. Okay. So paste this in. All dependencies are installed. It's going to do the exact same thing as it did before. I honestly wish this was more, you know, you could just install it using this version of wine. Ah, it enabled dark mode. That's cool. I like dark mode. And nonetheless, it's still going to find that everything's installed. It's going to skip ahead. It's going to do its thing. So I'm going to go grab uh, my copy of Affinity. And would you like to replace the existing files? No. And then it's going to ask me to put, you know, designer in there. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to copy you into Affinity Wine. Where are you? My brain's not functioning right now. Aha. We're going to hit paste. And that's done. I have a very fast USB drive. Press any key when ready. Press any key because there was no errors. And of course, it's going to start up the installer. And the installer is going to do its thing. So there it goes. And then it's going to pop up down here. Because I already had it on the toolbar. So it's like, why not, right? Now, there is a guide version that you could do step by step. I am going to attempt to rewrite it because... I'm going to be honest with you, it needs a lot of um, markdown done on it and possibly needs to be turned into a wiki because I think that would be best. Again, there's a special thanks and boom, it pops up. So now we can close this out. Well, I don't want to close it out. I want to just open up a new tab and then we close it out. So we're going to go grab the other one. I don't know why that opened up to the wrong one. And again, I didn't close it. It's just, I love how this, this damn thing just keeps disappearing. Oh, ew, it opened up in Firefox. Dude, stop that. I don't want to use Firefox. So I want to paste this one in there. I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I'm going to go ahead of time and I'm going to open this a new tab. I'm going to grab the affinity that I have for publisher. And I'm going to paste it in beforehand. Just like that. I like the fact that he set dark mode on wine. Honestly, that's really cool. And of course, wine tricks is going to go through. We're going to just type skip for end work and hit the button and the button again and it's gonna pop up and ask us if we want to install it again most likely we're gonna hit no what did I not grab the right one I grabbed you didn't I okay Let's try this again, because I think I messed up on that one. Pretty sure I did. Okay, so it didn't copy correctly. That is a bug of Firefox. It's another reason I don't like using uh, Firefox is because it has copy issues. And I'm sure someone's going to say, but it works for me. Oh, I'm not you, am I? No, many people are not you. You need to understand that. What works for you will not always work for another person. And what works for that other person will not always work for the person before or after. This is how the world works. Just like some people like using Edge. Some people like using Firefox. Some people like using Chrome, Chromium. Uh, what is it? Google it? Uh, Ungoogled Chromium. And then there's Brave and there's other things. Everyone has a choice. I'd be using the Arc browser if I could. That thing's cool. But it doesn't work, of course, in Linux. I'm going to hit this, and hopefully it will ask us this time for the right thing. Uh, again, designer. I think he broke this one. 
So I'm just going to skip designer for now. I need to take a look at that script real quick. This one right here. And look at the end. Okay, that one says publisher. That says publisher. That says publisher. Directory, finish the publisher. Okay, it's there, but this is not the one that's executing for some reason. It's pretty strange. I'm going to download this. We're going to download this raw. Ah, uh, it needs to be ch mod it. And then we can run it. There we go. While dependencies are installed, let's try this one more time. Now, this is not the one that I like to use. I don't really like using console anymore ever since I found uh, Pyaxis. I'm going to call it Pyaxis or Pataxis, something like that. It's one of the axes. And the reason being is because it just looks so pretty and it completely like themes itself in the flat pack. And it's really cool. So, yeah, you can find that on Flatpak. And uh, there's an alternative version of it, which is pretty cool. That you could also grab. Skip. Publisher.exe is there. We're going to delete the other two. And I'm actually going to just rename this. Just in case that's the problem. What did it expect of it? So just to be like this. So let's just rename it to that. In case there's an issue understanding what it is. And hopefully we'll be able to get what we need. Yes, there we go. I do wish to continue. So there we go. All of them are installed and ready to go. And it was really simple and easy. And uh, no coding required. That was actually a comment on my Discord. I want to show that to you. It's uh, kind of... It, I put that in the Linux meme channel because it was that amount of funny. Okay. So take a look at this. This. This is why I and many others have still not switched over to Linux. I have yet to write a bunch of code to get some software, in this case, Affinity to work. I didn't write any code to get Affinity to work. Did any of you? If you did, let me know. I only know one guy who added a bunch of stuff into Wine to get Affinity to work. And that man's a genius, and I'm very thankful to him. Nope. No. Ni. Nine. Are you 11? Not to be that guy, but you sound like you're a child, unfortunately. I don't understand why those that contribute to Linux just don't make a simple GY with some buttons to do this. Are you paying them to do this? Are you? I don't think so. That's the power of a modern OS. It's all graphic and no need to write in code. I didn't write any code. Did any of you? I was glad we left that behind with DOS. Even up to Windows 3.1, there were still many terminal executions to be done with games and many other things. Windows 95, some games were only released in DOS mode. I guess this guy did not have a very big history when it comes to Windows and how Windows functions. Even today, there's only things you can run in terminal on a so-called modern OS. Anyway, his special thanks once again should be added on there. You know, it would be nice. I'm kidding. Anyway, um, so as you can see, there it is. And we have all three done up and ready to go. And all three will work. This will be in the description below, along with his Discord and my Discord. So if you guys want to join mine, feel free. If you want to join his, feel free. But there we go uh your simple and easy method to installing affinity photo on linux thank you guys for watching don't forget to thank twig in the comments and i will see you guys next time 
If you're new here, subscribe. We have lots of videos like this where I help you install overly complicated stuff and make it easy for you because that's what this channel is about, teaching Linux better instead of making it the most complicated thing in the universe. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.